In this video, I'm going to install a database. And the database I want to use is called MariaDB. And um, it's the same people that develop MySQL. But uh, MySQL is um, not as open source as MariaDB is. And many features are actually even better than uh, than uh, MySQL. So, as I understand things, uh, MariaDB is a drop-in replacement for MySQL, and it's run by the original people that made MySQL. So I think it was some big uh, database company, Oracle or something, that bought MySQL. MySQL is still open source, but it's not the community that contribute to the development of MySQL anymore. It's Oracle. So it's not as open source as it once was. So MariaDB is a really good alternative if you want to support open source projects that are fully open sourced. So I'm going to install this using brew. Let's do brew update. So it's updated. Now let's install MariaDB. So now uh, MariaDB should be installed. Okay, now we have installed uh, MariaDB. And now let's run the uh, database. So as uh, MariaDB is a drop-in replacement, you use the same way as you use uh, MySQL. You use um, mysql.server start to start up the uh, MariaDB database. So don't get too confused by this. It's a compatibility, <laughs> I can't pronounce that, issue that you use uh, MySQL in the naming here. So now uh, the uh, MariaDB is up and running. So let's uh, log into uh, this database. MySQL-user, that's for user. The user is root. And we should also give the password. So then it asks for the password, and the password is blank. Then it says, Welcome to the Maria DB monitor. So we can uh, show databases, for instance. A little semicolon. So this is the default databases that comes information schema, MySQL, performance schema, and test. I know tests was one I did before, um, yeah. But as you can see, it's up and running. So we can also use uh, SQL Pro to do this. So open up SQL Pro. Yeah, yeah. So we call this Maria, maybe. Maria host that would be be 127.0.0.1 and the username is root and the password is blank so connect and here we could select the database here we can uh, add a new database let's call this um, awesome So now we're in the awesome database. And here we can create 
columns and stuff. So that was how to install MariaDB.